This is a beautiful little spot here called uh, High Banks. I'm up here. This, I usually stop here and have lunch when I float down the river. A couple of fish just jumped over there. I'm going to try to catch them after I leave you. There's downstream of the high banks down there. That's where I'm going. Now, this is also accessible, of course, by the road. I'll show you. This, there, this is upstream here. Here's a set of steps that takes you uh, up to the top up there. There's a parking lot back in the woods. And you come down these steps and you can fish. And then down below here, there's another small set of steps, not like these, that you can go back up to the trail and walk back to your car. So it's really accessible in here. It's fun to float it, though, just to see all the water. So uh, looks like there's a couple of brook trout maybe over there. I'm about, oh, probably more than halfway through my trip. It's, get, it's uh, 5 o'clock. Gets dark around 10. Spots on the south branch, I think. Very odd looking trees over there. They're white. Uh, a lot of blowdowns. It's just very pretty in here, as you can see. I'm going to run into this. I'm going to run into this uh, log here in a second. Here we go. This is a very, very beautiful spot. It's just upstream from the campground at uh, called Canoe Harbor. Very serene, real flat water. Extremely pretty. A lot of blowdowns, as you can see. Really nice. No fish rising though. <laughs> This is uh, June 14th, I think. I'm on the south branch below Leland Road. It's a nice day. It's real windy, though. I'm floating the south branch, going real slow. I have a headwind. I'm going to fish this area. The Mason Tract is where I am. This is uh, downstream. Not sure how good the picture is. It's awful bright out here. But I just wanted to give you an idea of where I was, at least. One other fisherman so far in one canoe. So not, not a whole lot of activity right now on the river. Yeah, this is another one of my favorite spots. It's just upstream from uh, a place called Guide's Rest. I caught two fish here just now. They weren't big enough to, well, I couldn't, I couldn't get my camera out anyway. But it's still extremely windy. This is a beautiful spot. Um, it's about 7.10 right now. I don't know uh, how long I'm going to fish, if much longer at all. I've only got about probably 45 minutes to the takeout. This is a beautiful spot. It's kind of hard to get to, though. You can hike through these woods, but uh, it's, it's really not an easy hike. Uh, you can walk upstream and then just sit for a while and then fish. But uh, in any event, this is a real nice. Got to keep. I got to learn to keep my thumb out of the way. This is a real nice stretch of river right here. Uh, if there's a hatch on, there's fish all over the place. But uh, nothing going on today. Very surprising too. And it is really windy still. I'm standing here at the uh, landing at Thendera Road. I'm going to try to get a picture of something that's incredible. There is a zillion trico spinners on the water. I'm not sure how good I'm going to be able to get these. But uh, they're all over. There's literally thousands of them. Fish are taking them. Maybe you can see all of them on the water. I don't know if, you're pick, if it's picking up or not. But they are everywhere. Um, every square foot of the water is covered with them. It's uh, 9.20 in the morning. There are fish rising, but they're difficult to catch, obviously, because there's thousands of spinners on the water. Maybe I can 
They're just everywhere. I, uh, I've seen this before. Now, I don't know if the hatch happened early today because it's warmer. The water is 60 degrees. So, anyway, that's my little trico story. There's another, just a huge batch of them coming down. They're just, they come in clumps.